What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to talk about rows and flutter. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to check out rows and flutter. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership to all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at rows. Now, in the last video, we looked at columns. So if you didn't see that video, definitely check the playlist and watch that video because you're going to need to know all of that stuff basically to do rows because they're very similar. So let's head over to Recode. I'm using Visual Studio Code. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Flutter videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So this is the code we've been working on in the last few videos. And you can see in the last video, we made all of these columns. Now rows are very similar to containers. In fact, we could just come in here and swap out this column for a row. Now we need to make a couple of quick changes first. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of this uh, container that we have with double infinity. We don't want that just yet. And that should be good. Let's go ahead and save this. And if we pull up our app, you can see, boom, now these are in rows. Now. You see right here, we've got some funky stuff going on here. That's because the widths of our rows now are too big for the screen. So we need to actually modify it a little bit. So let's come through here and let's change these widths to like 100 for each of these guys. 100, 100, and 100. And let's save this, check out our app. In fact, let me just pull this over. And you can see now we've got now you'll notice that they're all stretched the entire length of our screen. And that's because up here in the last video, we did this cross axis alignment of stretch. And for a row, the cross axis alignment is vertical up and down, right? It was the opposite of that for columns, but you know, rows are obviously different. So if we comment this out and reload this, you can see, boom, now they all change again because we've given them all a height of 150. That's very cool. If we change this again, boom, they go back, right? We can also, if we comment this out, go back to this thing we looked at in the last video, the, man, the main axis alignment, and we can use our same things. We could put, say, end, for instance. If we do that, boom, they bop over to the end. We can have center. If we save this, boom, they're in the center. We can mix and match. We can also have the cross axis alignment at the same time. So boom, they're stretched, right? We can do the things that we did in the last video with like space around, right? If we save this, boom, we have space around. We can dot space in between. That changes it like that. And we can dot spaced evenly. And there we go like that. So all those same things we looked at in the last video for columns, they work with rows as well. The widths, same thing. We can change our widths any way we want. Boom, that makes it smaller. Change that back again, 100, boom, it makes it bigger again. Very cool. Now these all say column one, column two, and column three. We should probably change that to row one, row two, and row three. There we go. <laughs> That's kind of all there is to it. So very simple. If you didn't watch the video on columns, definitely go back and watch that because otherwise you're not gonna understand what any of this stuff is, but very similar. Like I said, we just have to come up here and, and use our row widget instead of a column widget. And uh, kind of all there is to it, we could change this back if we want. Boom, now it changes back to columns, right? This is one big column. Or we could change it back to rows, and now we've got our rows going left to right. Just that easy. So if that's all for this video, if you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Doing over 150,000 people learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodingMe.com, and I'll see you in the next video.